What is up, YouTube? Hey guys, this is Greyhound Z or SF Jask here. Today, I'm bringing you guys YouTube tips number two. Today, I'm going to be talking about the importance of an intro and the importance of an outro. So, uh, let's jump right into this. Okay, so um, I'm going to introduce the gameplay in the background. It's a game of free for all on Newtown 2025. It's a pretty sure gameplay, it's free for all. So, um, it's a short commentary as well, so it'll be over soon. <laughs> Don't worry. So, um, I'm going to be talking about the importance of an intro. Which is um, what I would call the first 15 seconds of your YouTube video. The reason why I say it's the first 15 seconds of a YouTube video is because um, in the YouTube Creator Playbook, I'm sure the majority of you guys haven't read that book, because um, I just I actually found out about it about like six months ago, which is actually a while ago. I don't know why I just said that, but uh, basically it tells you a lot of tips and stuff about um, YouTube video making that I think is pretty important. Um, so they considered the intro the first 15 seconds, something along the lines of that. Don't quote me on that. Um, but the importance of the intro. For example, my intro is, what's up guys? Uh, it's pretty much, what's up guys? Hey YouTube, it's Greyhound Z or SFG Ask here. That's pretty much what I say in the beginning of every single video, whether it's a live com, regular com, or YouTube tips video. Um, but I know there are um, a lot of people who aren't very, what I would call, experienced at YouTube because they haven't made very vid uh, many videos, or they just... Um, aren't very good no offense at YouTube um, I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything I'm just saying they need to work and brush up on some of their skills here's an example by the way um, oh, hey guys hey YouTube this is uh, XX Slayer Y swag XX K W X um, and today I am um, I don't know but uh, what am I saying I am um, I'm bringing you guys a MW3 or Black Ops 2 uh, gameplay in the background. I go like 1 and 15 and blah 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 blah. I'm like, no one wants to listen to that. So I, if it was me and I was watching that video, I'm going to be clicking away after the first five seconds of that video because that guy is not interesting at all to listen to. People don't watch videos just because they want to watch some random kid play Call of Duty. <laughs> if they wanted to watch someone play Call of Duty, they play it themselves, right? So um, people wa want to watch commentaries because e um, either A, they're informative, or B, because the guy, the commentator, is interesting to listen to, like Scumpy, Allie. There are people who are who have great personalities, and um, they're fun to uh, watch uh, their videos. Um, I know in my last YouTube tip video, I... Uh, ex explain the importance of uh, and like the significance of likes com and comments at the end of videos and what they can do to boost your view count if you guys haven't watched that go check it out I'll uh, link it in the description below but um basically I'm gonna be talking now uh, people if you guys haven't noticed because been on YouTube for a while you've uh, noticed that a lot of bigger youtubers at the very end they'll either add like a page where uh, they have like an annotation to their last video or to a video like they've made in the past and you can just click on that and they basically run that page at the very end for like 10 seconds 15 seconds like I do that too as well and um, basically by clicking on that annotation it will link you to their other video which is a very great way to game reviews first of all and second to um, make the viewer like you, you more that's <laughs> that sounds really weird what I'm trying to say though is um adding annotations, adding music to your outro, just basically creating an outro rather than just saying, uh, thanks guys for watching and blah blah blah, bye. That's not nearly as good as actually creating a good outro with um, uh, calls to action as YouTube's uh, creator playbook calls it. Basically, it's when you tell the audience who's just finished watching your video, they probably liked your video if you made a good, if you put a lot of effort into it, and um, you're basically directing them toward um, rather commenting, liking, or subscribing, or uh, clicking on another video, you're basically directing them and calling them to action, as they would, uh, as YouTube calls it, to uh, do something else. Uh, what that has some, to to watch something or do something that has to do with one of your videos. So, guys, that's about it for YouTube tips number two. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe for more YouTube tips and more Call of Duty content from me, SFJ Greyhound Z. And um, next, for the next YouTube uh, tips video, I'm going to be uh, covering the importance of a regular uh, scheduled upload and the importance of music. Guys, um, click on my last video that I have running on the screen right now. And guys, Greyhound Z out. And have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe.